G'day guys, Remy here from Drive. Today we're going to take you through the new range of MPPT solar controllers and the programming for these controllers. Whether you've got a, a 10, a 20, a 30 or a 40, the programming on these units is exactly the same. So we're going to go through this today on the 30 amp controller. And what we're going to focus on first up is changing it to a lithium setting. So what you want to do to begin with is press your select button and cycle the menu through until you get to the battery display with the voltage showing. Once we've got that, we're going to press and hold down our enter button and that's going to get us into the menus themselves. So straight away it selected a sealed battery, which is not what we want. We want to change it to a lithium. So we're going to go across using the select button till we get to FO4. So FO4 is a 12 volt lithium, which is what we want to select for this particular battery. So that's, that's all the settings done for, for a lithium style battery with this particular controller. So if you're setting it for a 12 volt battery and it's a lithium base, you want to set it to FO4. And if it's a 24 volt, you want to change it to FO8. So once you've set the unit to FO4 or FO8, there's no further adjustment within the profiles of this controller for a lithium type battery. We've set the parameters in this controller to be suitable for most types of lithium battery, and it will be suitable for all of our BTEC and a drive based batteries and also our E-Lights. Okay guys, now that we've gone over the lithium settings for this particular controller, we're gonna go over the AGM flooded and sealed type batteries in this particular controller and the specific settings for those ones. So again, we're gonna be pressing our select button over here until we get through the menu cycle, until it gets back to our battery displaying our voltage, which is this guy here. Once we've done that, we're gonna press and hold down our enter button once more. That's gonna get us into our menu settings. So you can see we're still selected on our FO4, which is our 12 volt lithium as we did before. We're gonna cycle out of that one, pressing the select button until we get back to our sealed type batteries, which is our SEL there. We're happy with that selection. So we're just gonna press the enter button to confirm that. And now we've set the controller into a sealed type battery, which is our AGM settings for this particular controller. Once we've done that, if we're not 100% happy with the AGM settings, and we wanna make a slight adjustment to how the controller is gonna charge, whether it be a bulk voltage, a float voltage, or potentially a low voltage disconnect as an example for our load settings and whatnot, we can go through the settings again and select our user battery types. So what we're gonna do again, we're still on that battery type there, so we're just gonna cycle back through until we get through to the menu displaying the battery and the voltage once more, which is this guy here. Press and hold down our enter button once more, now we're gonna cycle through our menus, passing gel, flooded, and all of our lithium types until we get to the user at the end via the select button. Once we've selected that, we're just gonna press and hold down our enter button again, which is gonna get us into that particular menu. So once we're in this menu here, we press the enter button each time to select each of these functions. So our SYS, which is our system voltage, preset is zero. We can change this manually to 12 or 24 volts. Leaving the unit at zero will mean that it will automatically select its voltage from there. So we're happy with that selection. We're gonna move along. So BCU is our bulk voltage. We press our enter button again. It's gonna take us into that. So our preset is 14.4. Now we can press the select button there to take it up to 14.5, or we can press and hold that menu on the select button, and it's actually gonna take us back down to 14.4. So a single press will take you up, and a long press will take you back down again. Once we're happy with our selection, press the render button there again. So FCU voltage on this is our float voltage. So once we press the enter button to get into there, I'm gonna change this down to 13.6, which means that I need to press and hold down my select button until that cycles down. So there we go, 13.7, release it, press it down once more and hold it until we get down to 13.6, which is that guy there. And we're happy with that setting. We're gonna press the enter button to cycle through. Our LUA is our low voltage alarm so preset this at 12.6 i'm happy with that i want to get an alarm nice and early telling me that my batteries are going flat and that i need to do something about it so we're going to press the enter button because we're happy with that our lud is our low voltage disconnect and this is for our load function so this is currently set at 11.1 sorry so this voltage is quite low so i'm going to dial this one up by pressing the select button until i get to 12 volts so I don't want my batteries to go flat via my load. I want to keep them nice and charged. So once I'm at my 12 volts there, I'm going to press my enter button again because I'm happy with that function. OK, 
Okay, guys, so we're just gonna go over the LEN function. This is the last function in this particular controller, so we're just gonna press the Enter button to go into that. As a preset, it's set to no. There is another option in here, which is yes. So we're gonna change it back to no, and I'll explain what the function of this guy is now. So this is all relating to the temperature of the actual unit and how it's operating. So if we set the LEN function to no, it means that at zero degrees, the unit will continue to charge. If we change that function to yes, it will mean that when the unit reaches zero degrees via the local temp sensor or the remote temp sensor that you can purchase that goes directly to your batteries, it will mean that it will stop charge. This is very helpful for particular battery chemistries which are affected by temperature and can actually change the internal structure of the battery at that temperature. For standard AGM and sealed batteries, this is not a problem, so we'll leave the setting at no and continue the charging profile. The main thing to remember with the user defined settings is this is for your sealed AGM and flooded type batteries. This is not for your lithium type batteries. These settings will not work correctly for a lithium type battery, which is why we have the lithium profiles separately within the controller and they're a preset to be suitable for your lithium type chemistries and won't have an issue charging those guys. Thanks a lot guys for watching. I hope this gives you a little bit more information about the solar controller and what you need to change within the settings for your particular battery types. If you guys have got any questions at all, feel free to shoot a few comments down below. Chuck us a like, ask us a couple of questions about what you want to see next, guys. We're always interested in doing more videos to help you guys out. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.